Well, I'm attempting to <laughs> attempting to pack and fit everything in the bag. Yeah, uh, we will see how we go. <laughs> Finally sorted out my bags, and then I've got a box of stuff that I'm just leaving in the caravan. But yeah, it's all all tidied up as much as I could, at least. And that's it. I'm attached. Um, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Last drive today. made it safe, returned the caravan, the car's sitting here ready to be picked up. It's a whirlwind. Filled up the petrol, um, filled up the car with petrol. Yeah. <laughs> Done. And now I'm going to have a look at a couple of the, the new 2020 caravans out of curiosity. So this is Bailey's new 2020 models. They're called the Discovery Range and they're kind of, they've got a completely different back. They wrap around rather than coming straight down and that's really unusual, really quite striking with kind of more of a um, grey silver exterior which I really like because I'm starting to get a little bit bored of white everywhere on the outside so it's nice to see something different there <laughs> but you've still got the amazing massive bailey window at the front so one of the amazing things about this caravan is how light it is it's like 1100 kgs so that means you can kind of tow it with a lot smaller cars but it's also designed for yeah the first time uh, timers or if you don't have a lot of space or you can also put your bikes in the front so if you kind of want a sporty option for caravanning this this is kind of designed for it and then the bathrooms are a combination of wet room but plenty of room so you can get all sweaty cycling and then have a, a nice shower at the end of it so it's got three hobs at the front and then it's got a cot i think it's a combination grill and oven underneath which is a really clever use of space really clever and then the normal kind of sink and then a bit of space at the back for your kettle etc and then you can also extend for a bit more bench space and then <laughs> you've got this area over here if you need to spread out and there's also a table that's kept just there that you can then put out and then it's got the extension there if you want to have a cup of tea I do like just that little permanent shelf in a way and then ah, generous cupboard I like those shelves So this range is known as kind of the more decadent option. It's got all the nicer features like the fridge that opens on both sides and LD top of the range heating throughout. So this is the eight foot wide selection as well. I think they're eight foot wide throughout. So you've got the kind of the cool L-shaped kitchen, which I quite like, I do. It just makes it feel like more of a kitchen. you got a little bit more space. And the quirk, you got space for wine bottles. <laughs> Designed specifically to be included. And then it's got these like more circular seating areas, which I'm not sure 
because I you know me I love to sit facing that way I like to lie down in the seating area rather than sit upright so I'm not sure what I think of the sofas space for your junk <laughs> oh they're cool tuck stuff away that you don't really need that would be handy instead of just sitting spread out near the entrance like I did and then they've gone for a fancy looking splashback oh that's nice I like that So there you go, you've now seen the Phoenix that I've been in for the last couple of months, then the entry level cheaper caravan, the Discovery, and now the Acadia I think it's called, which is the expensive model with different layouts. So I think apparently there's three in this range as well. So out of curiosity, what is your favourite out of the three? I kind of... I don't I I don't know I kind of like features from each of them <laughs> I like I like the kind of the gray silver exterior of this discovery and you've got a space for bikes that's cool and I kind of like the simple cupboards but I like the L shape here and if it's got like really good heating that sounds good and these fridges are kind of an awesome feature but then the Phoenix I don't know, I just, I, I really liked the Phoenix. I really liked the interior of the Phoenix. That actually suited me quite well. The layout. Oh, space for shoes. Oh, that is an awesome feature because it really annoys me that all my dirty shoes end up just clogging the entranceway of my caravan. And just to have a space near the door to put your shoes would be amazing. And they've got it, they've got it. Well, this is it. Got my luggage, waiting for the Uber and going to the train station, heading to London. <laughs> Made it to my room in London. It's on the top floor, so their lift doesn't actually reach the top floor. So you go to level four and then you take one little sort of set of stairs to the top. And my bag's quite heavy, so I <laughs> got there though. And I explored London for a couple of days before jumping on the plane and heading home. And I made it back, I made it safely home. The caravan's still there. It's just a completely covered in spiderwebs and it needs a really good clean, but ready to hit the road and carry on with my New Zealand adventure. And I can't wait to share with you my New Zealand content. Plenty of exciting things to come. <laughs>